Bower brand is the astronomy capital of Australia. The night skies out here are unbelievable. And up at Siding Spring Observatory, we've mapped the universe with this incredible telescope. But down here in town, if you get real lucky and your planets align, you'll be taking a trip out to Pilliga country. Pilliga is the biggest inland forest in New South Wales. And I'm getting to see some of the best bits with Peter from First Lesson Cultural Tours. We've got a 360 degree view of everything. From the top of the Pilliga Forest Tower, you can see for miles. The Pilliga Forest, as far as you can see, in every direction. It's definitely sandstone, right? <laughs> yeah, sandstone caves. Yeah. We're going to head up here to a um, little cave that's got some axe grinding grooves in. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful walk through the forest. And thousands of years ago, folks passing through left their individual markings on the rocks as they sharpened their tools. The grooves around this area and around Dubbo are two and a half to 3,000 years old. And this is the sort of stuff that was being made? They're the axes and other tools like this. It's also a very sacred place. It is sacred to the indigenous people here. It's a place where they come to have culture camps, ceremonies, come to get their bush foods at certain times of the year. Do you know what I'm enjoying? And no noise point? out here, mate. No noise No here. cars, just animal, birds, me and people. Nice and quiet. Pete, tell me about sculptures in the scrub. Yeah, Mike, they're a collaboration between the sculptor, the elders and the youth. It's the Pilliga's latest attraction. Five magnificent sculptures along a bush track on the edge of the Dandry Gorge. Mosaics, stainless steel, bronze, marble and granite, and Wilcannia stone. Each tell a story from Aboriginal culture and history. And they're beautiful. In the midst of the mighty Pilliga forest is some really unique accommodation. Bacala Farm Stay is a working farm with all your favourite animals. There's heaps of accommodation to choose from. The Poet's Cottage is a loft house of timber and slate. It sleeps six. The studio sleeps 15, with an enormous lounge, living and dining room. There's even a ping pong table. But my favourite is the old schoolhouse. Very unique, it's like you're in a tree house and all this timber is off this property. I want one. The master room's on the top floor under a canopy of timbers. Next level down, there's kitchen, living and a bathroom covered in handmade ceramics. And on the ground floor, open air living. But people come to Bacala for another very special reason. This is the home of Pilliga Pottery some of the most beautiful handmade pottery in Australia. Maria and her former hubby set it up more than 30 years ago. Richard was um, a, a very trained potter from Germany and he brought all the knowledge and the skill from Europe to Australia. And the colours we have got here, we use on this pottery, are very unique. The engravings are also distinctive. Australian bush flora, our fauna, and Pilliga's signature mark, the beautiful Blue Wren. Which is also the name of the cafe where you can get breakfast, lunch and dinner. Try the German sausages with sauerkraut, the ploughman's lunch, or maybe a wood-fired pizza. And while you're out here, you may as well take a pottery lesson as well. Cool. Oh. oh, good. Good, that's already quite good. That gave us a unique uh, fingerprint, Michael. Oh, looks like I need quite a few. Is that fixable? Or... No, that's... I just fold it. Mm, oh. Just um, hide it. <laughs> For more info on the beautiful and diverse region of Coonabarabran, head to sydneyweekender.com.au.